face of makeup with tips on both you and I, but if you are looking for more of a full face touching on you, I suggest maybe another video from myself or another ASM artist because ultimately what this video originally was supposed to be was a full face of makeup in 20 minutes or less to help us, you know, whenever we're getting ready and we need to be out the door and still want to look really, you know, glammed up or so and so. Instead, I'm just going to be doing a full face giving you lots of tips that I learned. I feel like big beauty gurus like James Charles or Jacqueline Hill can be very helpful, but ultimately, we just don't look like that, like not many of us can look like they do. With the, you know, high glam and everything else, I'm just a normal person. The only difference I do with my makeup is I've been doing a cat eye since I was 14. <laughs> I've mastered the cat eye with hooded eyes, so I'll be showing you guys how to do that today if you're interested. Before we begin, um, I am doing a giveaway, that's why I've been using one hand, is I'm holding the... Jeffree Star, uh, uh, Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette. And this is just the packaging. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. But the day that they launched, uh, nobody was getting through to their website. And I just straight up started adding a bunch of stuff to the cart just opening new tabs until I could get it. Whenever I finally, an hour and a half later, got to the cart, it would not update. I had to get whatever I had in there, and it was just two conspiracy palettes and two piggy mirrors in the color black. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway of the piggy mirror and the conspiracy, one of each. This is the packaging for the conspiracy palette. This is the packaging for the Piggy Mirror. what it looks like and that's what I'll be giving away followed by the piggy mirror which you can find right here very cute very clean and I'll be using that to do our makeup today so if you would like to enter this giveaway all you have to do is comment why you want the conspiracy palette below just leave a comment you don't have to follow or anything but i do have an instagram i'm trying to bring back to life um no all you have to do is comment down below in the comments why you want the palette um i'll be using a website to randomly generate from the youtube video a comment and from there on out um i will be contacting you through youtube messages and announcing on my social media so you can find in the description so with that being said family let's jump right into today's video okay so the very first thing that I do upon cleansing my face, getting ready for makeup, is I apply a moisturizing vitamin D. Um, it's literally a serum, and it's by, I, I don't even want to, it's Dr. Medical something, so medical, and it's very expensive, and that's not realistic. I simply have that for when I get injections, so we're going to skip that and go straight to primer, but my best tip that I learned later on in life, before you put your primer on, you want to get a moisturizer. If your face is oily skin, um, they have non-greasy, like, um, more natural moisturizers out there. I don't have any recommendations, but just trust me when you need a moisturizer on your face. Just trust me. It's like a base before a base. 
followed by the actual base, which we will apply now, and that is my Tarte Quench. Rainforest of the Sea. <laughs> Hydrating primer. My skin is um, mixed. Usually it's just normal to dry in the winter, and then it's like normal to oily in the summer. But ultimately, as I'm getting older, my skin is drying out more. If you want your makeup to seriously look amazing, the best tip I could ever give you is to drink water. Hydrate, 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 hydrate. So. And as usual, a dab will do ya. So. the other day. If I get real sick throughout today's video, um, don't ever take an example from me, but let's move on. So next we are going to just go ahead and finally use this piece of crap that I got at Sephora in a haul one day. And it is the Evian facial spray. Please don't buy this. The only reason I'm using this is so I don't have to get up and go into the bathroom to re-dampen um, my beauty blender. My best tip for a flat, beautiful base of makeup. I've used everything. I've used um, brushes. I've used uh, those silicone pads. I've used my fingers. And the only, only type of foundation applicator I've ever found to work is the beauty blender and it has to be the stupid brand even after their extremely disrespectful post about copying them but I have to use it they know people like me are gonna buy their products so I guess they can get away with being pieces of crap so um dampen 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 oh my god a plane okay dampen 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 um and dampen it with warm water. If you do cold water, the pores on the beauty blender are gonna tighten up, like shrivel up. It's just not good, so. <laughs> I know my makeup looks dirty, but apparently in Beauty Guru's videos, all of their makeup is like clean and precious. No, sweetheart, like this is what my foundation looks like and I've been using the same bottle since summer. So yeah, um, check this out. The best foundation I use for a full face um, or full coverage, which in my type of skin, I don't really get acne. I rarely do. Um, so I should actually be using like a medium coverage, but it's makeup. There's really no rules to it. But it's the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation um, in the color Light 44. Light 44. Yeah, that was it. Light 44. Cool. And I'm just going to be honest with you regarding the foundation and like what brands I use. Like I'm so tired of hearing about like, oh, you support Jeffree Star and Kat Von D and these people. It's like, I never knew about these people when I started using these products. Like deeply, like the drama and everything. These products worked for me on my face. 
reason I'm going to continue to use them. Not because I support these people. I know, oh, I'm giving the money to them. Like, I'm supporting them. It's like, no. Like, my skin is my skin, and I know my skin, and I know it works for my skin. I don't have the time, and I don't have the money to go try a bunch of new products when one works for me. Um, the product that's on my face does not define, like, who these people are or who I am because I'm using them. Like, nobody's gonna look at my foundation and be like, Jesus Christ, you're using Kat Von D. How dare you? That woman doesn't vaccinate her kids or Jeffree Star, like, doing this. It's like, no, this is what works for my face and I'm going to use it as long as it's available. So with that being said, I use Kat Von D. Lock at Light 44 Cool. My best tip in foundation is the lightest shade if you're pale or the darkest shade if you're darker skinned doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the right shade for you. There are things called undertones that I learned about. So Google and YouTube is definitely your friend because honestly, if I told you about undertones, you'd be like, no, she's wrong. So that's not me like pushing you away to not teach you. That's me telling you like, I can't explain what an undertone is. <laughs> but anyway, how I apply the foundation is I just smear it on. I don't dab it on professionally like everybody else does. So don't take any advice from me here. I do three lines. If you watch my older um, makeup videos, I actually used to dab it on, but I just got lazy. So I do three lines on each side and one right here above my lip on my nose. And I used too much, so I'm just gonna take from what I've got down here and go to the forehead. And that's all we need. And then I smear whatever's left on my hands and like rub it in. So anyway, <sighs> never buy this product, but we're going to use it because I already bought it and I lost my receipt so I couldn't take it back to Sephora. And it's leaking, so thank you Evian. Lying asses, all right, here we go. And it's cold. I told you guys to use, just use warm water. <laughs> That's actually, yep. Yeah. That was too wet, but that's okay. So, now that we've dampened our beauty blender, um, my best technique in, into getting it is always be gentle on your face. I usually find myself being way too rough. Like, I'll straight up, like, like digging into my skin with this beauty blender. It's like, no, just gently dab. And I dab, like, down, like, can I try it on you? Okay, so here, listen, like, dab, down, dab, down, dab, down, dab, down, 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 dab, 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 down, 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 dab, down, 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 see, dab, down, not just straight against the skin, down, can you hear the difference? Just do that in a downward motion at first, but just be gentle with your skin. The reason I don't do like makeup tutorials or anything is honestly like I'm not real, like I don't feel like makeup is relatable in a way that everybody's the same. I don't know how to explain it. And then I start dabbing up here in the area that I'm like messing around in. <laughs> I'm in my head thinking right now I'm like, Maybe I should speed this up on iMovie and put that theme music that goes like do 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 and then the guitar riff. No 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 no. And then it's like that kind of thing. Okay. See, I'm getting too rough. 
say if you have darker skin or the lighter skin always go a shade lighter with your concealer because it's like a highlight under the eyes honestly I have no tips for this I actually use two concealers and the first one is a drugstore concealer called Maybelline Master Conceal and it's in the color Fair number 10 and this used to be a race paste by Benefit but then they changed the name to Boeing which sucks and it's a brightening concealer and um it's in the shade number one like there is no shade lighter than my skin in these concealers <laughs> in fact this is a little bit darker that's how pale i am but anyway and my nail broke today but since you guys care so i might seem a little bit dirty doing this so don't follow any of my tips for this because you might get congested 
conjunctivitis is I take um, my <laughs> just like Morphe brush by Jeffree Star I hate and I use the tip of it and I just like dig it in here and get like a nice little dab and then I take off my glasses and I look real close to the mirror because I can't see but I guess in celebration of this giveaway we can use the piggy mirror and me making a lot of noise and we just dab right under the eyes which I like added way too much but dab 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 now we're gonna put on the second concealer which seems to melt under these lights I bought this vanity it's one of those like whenever I'm done with the video I'll um I'll show you what my vanity looks like. It's by uh, a brand called Impressions Vanity. And they said if I showed their products in uh, one of our videos, they'd send me this big floofy chair. But then I forgot to get back to them, and I don't want to seem disrespectful, but I just forgot. And then I just remembered, like, right now, and I'm like, oh my god. So anyway, then what I do with the concealer um, is I just add it, like, right under the lid. There's better ways to, like, I'm not even gonna, like, put the title of this video as, a, like, tips for makeup because this is just garbage. Garbage. It's muff cabbage. Okay. Now, since I have hooded eyes, I have to actually apply the, um, primer last. It was only about two months ago I was applying it together, but because my eyes are so hooded, like, when I'm dabbing, the, like, skin above my eyes is, like, creasing the shadow. It's really bad. But now we're just going to be very gentle under the eyes. That is one thing I can attest to. Always be gentle when you're dabbing your concealer on your under eyes. Because the skin's very, very thin underneath your eye sockets now. I personally get injections under my eyes. And, um, I have to be gentle or else I'll spread the um, whatever's under my eyes at the time. I forget what this, I think it's Juvederm. I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's Juvederm XL or something. I don't know. <laughs> but what's interesting is every time I tell somebody, like, I get lip injections or I get Botox or I get under eye injections, they're like... <laughs> They're like, you look nothing like somebody who has those things, and it kind of makes me, like, really sad, because there was a long time in my life that I wanted to be like those people. Like, I really wanted to be like Jacqueline Hill for a long time. Like, I wanted to look, like, really glam and, like, stand out to people, and it's this really big thing. Um, but anyway, next I'm going to apply my eyeshadow primer, and I can't stand this primer. I always tell everybody this Urban Decay's eyeshadow potion primer. I hate it. But I'm always gonna buy it because I hate it, but it's like the only one that keeps my eyeshadow on. But if you don't dab it in right, it doesn't stay. <laughs> like, it'll it'll stain almost. So what you wanna do <laughs> is, like, I lost the fuzzy tip in this too, so I'm basically just applying like mass amounts as I just smear it on my eye like so. <laughs> and again, since having hooded eyes, it's, it's harder. But anyway. And then I just take the beauty blender and lift up my eyebrow. <laughs> and dab. <laughs> and if I do it quick enough, then my other eye won't dry up with the primer on it and stain it because there isn't enough eyeshadow in the world to cover that shit up whenever that time comes but anyway I wanted to be like those people all the time way back in like 2016 15 and then after trying so hard like with having kids and just bad things I I realize I can't be those people. Like, I tried so hard with the whole self-tanning thing and, like, keeping up on, like, shaving and, like, my makeup every day. And it's like, I didn't want to. I just 
excuse me, I had like FOMO, like fear of missing out, of being on top of all the top new products, and I still do that in a way today, but it's nothing like it used to be. Like, I barely wear makeup anymore. The only time you all see me with makeup is in my videos, but if you met me in real life, which, by the way, like, tons and tons of people are starting to, like, come up to me in my town, and they're like, are you Karina Sidori? And it's really humbling and awesome and fun. But most of the time that they meet me, I don't have makeup on. I just don't. I don't know. I've been trying to, like, learn to love myself without makeup. So next is whenever I put all the powder on my face. <laughs> and my best tip with powder is, in my opinion, for like lighter skin, get a translucent powder. Or, um, this is Pound Cake by Huda Beauty. And it's like the lightest there is. It's, I think Huda Beauty's products are amazing. I Apparently people don't like them and I don't know why. But again, their products work for my skin. And this is like the best uh, loose baking and setting. It's a setting powder. I don't know what baking is. Apparently your face heats up a bunch of powder, but I drown my face in the powder anyway. So just another tip that I won't be asking you to take from me or like, <laughs> I should just name this video. Rambling and helping with hooded eyes because I do have tips for hooded eyes, but this brush is really dirty and I don't know when I cleaned it last, and I, it's all I've got, and I was gonna ask if you wanted some powder, like with ASMR, and I mean, there's a screen, like, between us, so I could just, okay, alright, but anyway, I start with my eyes first. So, honestly, Evian, you could shove it up your fucking ass. But anyway, I never expected our family to grow so big, you know? And so, every time that, you know, in person, I never expected to ever, like, truly actually be noticed in a crowd. And there was this time last month at um, my local Halloween store, and this, like, younger girl came up to me. She's like, oh my god, are you Karina Satori? And I, like, start to cry. <laughs> and, like, we got a picture together. And then, um, another girl came out, like, from the woodwork. And she's like, oh my god, Karina Satori. And then some girl, like, behind there with her boyfriend comes out. And she's like, can I get a picture with you? She didn't even know who I was. And it was like, I was like, oh my god. But I, I didn't think the last, uh, two people knew who I was. I just think that they were like, Oh, that's somebody relevant or something and it's like but the truth is in my town like in my life in my private life I'm not relevant like I'm so quiet and private like I don't hang out with anybody in lines um at all but I'm gonna have to edit this in a moment but anyway I just do light swirls on my face if you're still listening to this that really means a lot And then that's it for the face, I guess. But anyway, like, I don't know. Um, it's crazy because I just, I was never ever picked out of a crowd. And 
like told like, oh, you're different or, and if, if I was, it was only for people to call me ugly. So growing up and like finding out like what a beauty guru is on YouTube and everything, it's so crazy to see, like I wanted to be like them and I wanted to dress like them because they're getting noticed. So why can't I get noticed? And then like, I found out about ASMR and I started doing ASMR and it was never to be noticed. It was like to give people the feeling I was so shocked. And what came with that was people actually like really finally noticing me out of a crowd and it's very humbling because it's not just for like my makeup or it's not for the way I dress it's because like I like apparently help someone and it's such a humbling feeling like knowing that I did something for somebody do you know what I mean but okay um the next thing I do after I put the powder on my face is I um bronze so everybody usually bronzes and contours now my skin is so pale i just like dump this stuff on my face like i just got this two months ago this is the hula light it's the only powder in the world um by benefit i don't know if i have any Too faced products but Too faced i really don't support that's a brand I, so i totally am a hypocrite because i don't like Too faced jared blandino or whatever anyway and it's like creepy ass sister named Makeup Sister or Makeup Princess on Instagram. She's so disrespectful and hateful and anyway. So yeah, this is like the lightest bronzer on the market. So I just take the brush at first and I go back and forth. I love the smell of that stuff. It smells so good. It smells like a cologne. And then I don't really need to hold my hair back because I mean, slicked back by grease and a lot of hairspray because I have flyaways and I usually wear a headband and then I just bronze upward and downward on one side and I do that because I'm going to show you guys this technique I've used it in so many of our videos but it's called the uh, five head technique and you take four fingers and you go from where your eyebrows start and if it goes past your hairline, you don't need to bronze or contour. But if it does, it's stating that you have a five head, so you have to do it, which you don't at all. Excuse me, but it just makes my um, face appear smaller. That's why I do it. So I just do it this way. Like that. <laughs> oh, I know I'm blowing right into my brush too, but I, I just do that on the other side. I kind of try to like get some on my temple because apparently it makes my face look smaller so I just learned that from some video but yeah and there's like dandruff falling so I mean this is real life you guys like I'm just <laughs> next I use this like brush I've had for years at this point and stick it in there and I shape my nose so what I do is I make two lines on my nose like that it's a lot of powder I didn't realize this when I did this and we're gonna use the pinky mirror to blend it so I just literally make it look like my nose is smaller and just brush that into my skin The next part is the worst after this contour bronzing bowl. I don't know, I'm kind of just having a good time talking with you guys right now. It feels like it's been weeks since I've talked. Like, I have become such a recluse in real life. Recluse. That I simply just don't have friends. It's not like any particular reason. Like, I just don't talk to anybody. I'm scared, but then I have you guys, and it's not like that at all. Everybody I've ever met who watches our channel, everyone, everybody, except for, like, those two people. <laughs> if, you, if you're watching this, like, I'm so sorry. Like, I just felt like, if, if it, it, you might have been, like, it was a really awkward situation. But anyway, like, I'd love to talk to you. I just, you, you just wanted to, and then you left. 
but yeah, like, anyway, I just, you know, is it still filming? Oh my god, we're like 38 minutes, but I just feel like it, like I'm never relevant, like, relevant as in, like, I'm not relatable, and every time I've ever met, like, our family and everything, you guys are so relatable, and it's like, why does it have to be people that, like, I never see, or I just, I don't know how to explain it, but next we're gonna take this pro contour um, brush and it's it's just like why did I never meet you guys growing up or I don't really suck in my face to put this on like I just um, in fact I don't even I should probably get my glasses on for this. <laughs> there's nothing in this world I can see that will make me do this any certain way and I just go in the crease but yeah, it's like, I wish I knew you guys growing up. I wish I had friends like you guys growing up. I do. I feel like I would have grown up with a lot more self-esteem. <laughs> this looks horrible. <laughs> Why am I doing this? This is no longer a tips video. just, I wish I knew you growing up. So, now that I've like, attempted to make my face look smaller, <laughs> I'm done with that. which is like the hardest and longest process. So basically what I'm gonna do is give you guys a tip on how to do your brows and then I'm just gonna like fill in half of them and uh, do an edit because honestly, they take me forever. So the best way that you uh, could know how to shape your brows, most people like who do glam do like this, this like unibrow and then put concealer over it to take it. But here's my best tip. If you want to know where to truly do things, uh, hold this, like, where your nostril is, like, right here, and then make a line to know where the outer tail is, like this, see? Then you just make a line there, see? And then you put it on the out of your nostril, on the outer of where your pupil is looking straight forward. And then you just make a line there see and that's gonna show where your arch is and then you do the same over here so look straight ahead where your pupil ends is where your arch is see it and then to find where the tail is just go to the outer part of the eye like this look straight ahead here's the outer part of your eye and then make a line and that's where it should end do you get it look straight ahead wherever the outer part of your eye is make a line and that's where you should do your brows. So what I do from there is I just find where the bottom part of my brow is. Where the hair ends. And I just um, make like a line. And then I curve it. Now to be honest, I don't even have any brows. Like, I shave them off, so. <laughs> and then I find the top where my hair ends. And I arch it like this kind of like hold on let's do it and then how I make sure they're even is I just imagine an imaginary line like that see like I, I just pretend it and then I actually put the line to start on the other side and then I just do the same at the top that's why I said don't take any brow advice from me. Like, look how big this is. <laughs> like... Oh. <laughs> it's horrible. I don't know what's going on. I 
Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna end the video right here and then we'll like do it when it's done. But basically, I like fill in the entire brow and that's it. Like one color, like I don't make the ends darker. It might look darker because there's no hair there and lighter where there is hair and it's probably uneven and that's why I just don't get brow advice. So let's just edit this part with one of those like cool iMovie edit snaps ready. Yeah, like these brows are just, these are a sin, you know, this is like a sin. But, um, so next we are going to apply our shadow and for that I have like some very like not clean makeup shadow brush that I probably should have like cleaned off but I'm doing with my fingers right now. Anyway, um, next step is make sure your brush heads are clean. But, um, is somebody Okay, now. So, using the conspiracy palette. <laughs> it is kind of a cool palette. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and rag on it, but... I just don't know what colors I'm going to use, but for today, let's stick to something really pretty. And I'm looking at two colors right now that I probably would like to use. And Let's do, I really like that conspiracy color, the green right here. If you can see it, I hope you can see it. So I have an idea. Let's use not a fact and a conspiracy. So this dark red right here and this green. So I use, since I have hooded eyes, this is how I'm gonna teach you how to do a nice uh, crease, like right here, not a cut crease. <laughs> we don't know that much. I use an old, um, Polaroid photo I have, and I'm just gonna dab in the palette. Get some on the, not a hair, but, <laughs> and we're gonna hold it up. Um, and since if you have hooded eyes, you'll notice, like, it won't be even unless you do this just right now. Just hold it outer from the crease. Most people would put it right up to the actual corner of their eye. Don't do that. Put it downward. Like this. Okay. See? Where we're gonna put eyeliner over it and we're just gonna go like this. Over the actual picture. See? I'll explain in a moment. Take another dab, a dab will do ya. And then just see what I'm doing here. Don't worry about blending the top yet. We'll do that last. nice and pointy or whatever, but down here it's a little far down, so just take your middle finger or a towel or whatever and just push it upwards, so. See? Yes, I'm serious, like, that is literally my tip for you for hooded eyes. And then take whatever's left on the brush and just blend the top. Now, I did this a little bit too high up into the brow, which is fine. It's completely okay. trying to get to you, so. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Same thing on the other eye. I feel like I have something in my eye in the corner, which I did. Ew. Ew, get off of me. Ah. Okay. But yeah, we're just doing the same on the other eye, so. Make sure it's downward, not where your eye actually creases, so like, right here. And then just make a line using the shadow, 
and downward like that and then we're just gonna blend in again but anyway what I wanted to say earlier is um, I was gonna quit doing this like doing ASMR a couple weeks ago I got so depressed and I felt so lonely it's so hard not to feel lonely when you're depressed even if you have like your whole family around you it's just it's like you just cling to them for extra support but they can't take away that feeling of being sad and then I got real like loathing in myself I really felt like I wanted to quit I really felt like I didn't want to do this anymore Figurative, figuratively and literally like if that's the word to use I didn't want to live anymore I got really down and I posted about it like this is a little dramatic I wanted to do like a uh, like just a natural look <laughs> We're not going there today. Not today. But anyway, I'm like talking about this so nonchalantly, but I don't know. Life's too short to be serious all the time, especially in these subjects. I'm not going to get too far into it because I know it's a tough subject, but I wanted to quit everything a couple weeks ago. I was really down on myself. And I realized, like, I have kids who count on me. You know what I mean? I was like, what do I have to live for? Like, who cares about me? You know, like, excuse me. I was like, oh, my kids, by the way, like, they, my kids are everything to me. Every day, you know, they get off the bus. They're like, they're like, oh, my God, Mom. Like, they're just so happy to see me all the time. They just want to hang out with me and be with me. And it's so precious. Okay, we're gonna add um, the conspiracy color now or whatever. This isn't gonna match, by the way. It's like a bright red and some green. But just add that on there. But I do have so much to live for. Like, I posted like a, uh, a Twitter post and I'm like, I want to take a really long break. And I never thought that people were gonna actually reach out. I guess you could call it kind of an attention post. You know, sometimes I get so upset and so down that I do that whole attention thing. I'll post a sad status and hope somebody, like, sees what I'm going through and reach out. And so many of you all did. And that's why I call you my family. You guys are everything to me. I'm gonna add a little bit more of a, not a fact over the green or whatever conspiracy. To like make it look like even-ish. <laughs> but, um, that's what I came up with. <laughs> if you have hooded eyes, all I do is I like tilt my head back and close my eyes because when you're looking down, like, your whole lid is exposed, do you know what I mean? So, whenever you're just trying to look down from here, it's not all the way, but whenever you tilt your head back and you're stretching the eyelids, you can get all of the lid. Do you know what I mean? So that's like a little bit of a tip for applying shadow, but regarding the lidded eyes, I literally just, like I said, hold that there for the crease and then blend over the hood like blend over the hood and then like lean back and then go on the rest of it because that's all you can do really if you have severely hooded eyes like I do. If you had a fall like I did and nobody was there for you, Life Alert was there for me. But anyway, I remember my grandmother had Life Alert. She just wore that necklace around her neck all the time and it actually did come in handy for her once. Like, let's thank God. So that's the end of the conspiracy palette. Again, family, if you want to enter, just comment down below. And I'm sorry, I'm checking if it's still filming. Just comment down below because I'm going to be using a random generator and tell me um, 
why you want the palette or the piggy mirror. It's one or the other. So next we're gonna apply um, liner, which I don't remember where I had to put in it. Oh, there it is. I use the Kat Von D. It's the best for hooded eyes. Tattoo liner in the color Trooper Black. And for hooded eyes, I literally do this same thing. <laughs> I get real up close. I go to the corner of my eye and I just follow the line very gently. Now the reason I spoke to you earlier about using the Polaroid is because we're going to use the Polaroid as the line. See what I'm doing there? And then I'm just going to take the tip and follow it back to meet where I ended it. Do you understand what I mean? There's the cat eye for that eye. And then the, now some people just want to do a simple cat eye, like very tiny. I don't have like tips for that. Um, wherever the hood meets is where you, like the line on your hooded eye, like is where you want to make the uh, ending. So see how like I made a little dot there. That's where you want to come back to make everything connect. So. For example, let's just put the line over the lid. And again, using where the Polaroid made that crease for me. I'm going to Come back. I hope you can see this. And then connect. See? So whenever I like look down, it's connected. But whenever I'm looking like this, it's still connected too. It doesn't have that like wobbly looking um, cat eye. I hope I explain this correctly. If there's one thing I pride myself in, knowing and makeup. It's how to do these stupid cat eyes. <laughs> I've done them so long. So like that. I know it might not look clean cut, but for me, I wear uh, glasses that are like bifocal, so nobody really is telling how my makeup is really doing. Anyways. <laughs> and last but not least, we're going to apply mascara, 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 mascara. The only mascara I use, I don't have a typical one. Actually, I do. It's Urban Decay, and I hate that brand. It's the uh, Roller Lash, or whatever. I don't know, whatever, though. It's like Master Lash or something. This is Roller Lash. I saved up, like, 2,000 uh, Sephora points and then just bought, like, 20 of these. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I use the mascaras with the very hard, ridged edges, edges because I do have long lashes, like... Excuse me, semi long, semi long, and uh, I can just brush through them with these kinds of mascaras. I heard that magnetic lashes are really hard to use, but they're really fun. The only reason I can't personally use magnetic lashes is because I wear glasses. So, anybody out there who's wearing glasses that has tips of wearing false lashes with glasses, let me know. I could use them. But I just don't really care about that stuff. It'd be cool though. So I'm just brushing from the tip out. And then gently comb the bottom out. And then do the same for the other eye, but anyway. The point of what I was saying earlier about like quitting everything is that it took being like down to the very end to realize like I was giving myself a cry for attention. 
I don't want to end anything. I just don't want to be so alone all the time. And I'm not. I just needed, like, my kids and you guys to remind me of that. And my husband. But you know what I mean. I think everybody out there knows that feeling that they're not alone with their significant other, but at the same time, it's like, it's always nice to have a friend. <sighs> okay, so we are done with our eyes. <laughs> horrible. No, I'm kidding. They're not bad. They're not the worst, but they're not good either, but they're not bad. So, with the glasses, it's still a little excessive. I feel like in regards to the cat eye, I, c yeah, like I could have made that less and then like equal out here, but that's okay. Let's just pretend I'm doing good. Is this even still filming? Okay, we're an hour in. And last but not least is the highlighter and setting spray. So I don't know where my setting spray is. Oh, it's all the way in here. God, it's so loud. I still gotta show you guys the vanity afterwards. So what I do to put on my highlighter, and I use the Becca highlighter or whatever. I don't know if this is the Jaclyn Hill, but I think it used to be. But anyways, in the color Pearl, it's a very good highlighter for me, I guess. I take these two fingers, middle finger and in, or pointer, whatever finger this is, and I spray it wet, and I dab where I want my highlighter, which is right above where I bronzed or whatever, going up my face, and I let it wet for a while to dry. Same on the side. I used to highlight my chin and nose until people were like, you look like rude out there and nose reindeer, you look disgusting piece of shit, and I'm like, okay. I'm sorry, I apologize for this whole life of mine, like, Jesus Christ. I take the Jeffree Star that I was using for concealer earlier, and then I just... <laughs> and then just brush it on. Which is probably not even the area you're supposed to. But that's okay. I can use the excuse that makeup has no rules right? <laughs> I always, sometimes I put it like way too far up, which I, I don't really actually mean to do. Okay. Oh, that was another meme. Somebody was saying, never put setting spray on before your lipstick. I've never heard of that before. Like I just used a lipstick. Okay, so the very last thing I'm putting on, I thought about putting on a regular lipstick, that, but I'm actually going to put it, be putting on um, this girl I went to school with named Kat Janisco. She came out with her own makeup line, and go to, please go to her Instagram and comment that I sent you. Um, I'll put her Instagram right here, somewhere. <laughs> she didn't sponsor me or send me products, like I bought these on my own. Uh, Katsy Lou Beauty. She based her beauty line off of her two grandmother, Katsy and Lou. It's really sweet, but anyway, she came out with a matte lipstick that I love, and she comes out with this lip plumper that I'm gonna get eventually, but this is a really pretty color, and it's in the color Matriarch. You guys were asking what I was wearing in, um, what video was it? The, uh, a barista robe light. Now, anyway, my lips are really chapped, so I, like I said, get injections so I can see where the top of the ridges of my lips are, so I just wing it and hope it works. And then, yeah, that's it. But if you guys could explain to me why um, people don't want to put on their aligner or something, or their setting spray before lipstick, that would be great. See, like I'm over. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just 
just don't care right now. I have a headache. Like, really bad. But this is a really pretty color. I just can't seem to, uh, get it on my face right. <laughs> this, I miss this whole makeup look up anyway, you guys. Like, I just wanted to really get on here and talk, to be honest, today. So, if you, oh, Jesus. If you've made it this far, comment down below. Also, if you want to enter the giveaway. But just comment down below and let me know if you made it to the end. Oh, we still got a... The setting spray I use is Urban Decay. Okay, I claim I hate this brand so much, and I do. So anyway, I use um, the All Nighter about 8 to 10 inches away and just... And the setting spray doesn't work as good as it does. Like, at the end of the day, my face gets really oily, and that's probably because I put too much set or setting powder on my face. I don't know what it is, but if you have an idea, yeah, just let me know. But here's the finished look. It doesn't go good with my, uh, what do you call it, baby doll, uh, baby doll shirt that I got from American Eagle. But anyway, family, um, that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I have, like, my long hair in the back falling out. I thought I, like, sprayed it, but I, I love you with all of my person. Again, if you want to enter the Conspiracy Palette and Piggy Mirror giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below what, um, which product you want, the palette or the mirror, and tell me why you want it, and I'll do a random, probably in about a week, so seven days from now, which I don't know the date, I think it's like the 8th, but let me know, family. I love you with all of my person. Thank you for listening to me. And tell Cats, Catch and Scocatsy Lou that I sent you.